World leaders and heads of aid groups have met in Paris to discuss getting humanitarian aid to people in Gaza. The talks aimed at mobilizing funding and emergency assistance. They're also dealing with how to set up supply lines for essential resources, including water, fuel, and electricity. Caroline Genez is the Belgian Minister of Development Cooperation in Major Cities. You're joining me live from uh, Brussels, Minister. I have a press statement in my hands that says uh, Belgium is also increasing its aid. Yes, we will um, provide us an additional supply of 2 million euros, and that brings our total aid, humanitarian aid, to the Palestinians this year, 2023, at uh, 22 million euros. So you're calling for a number of things. Uh, again, I'm reading from the statement here, but you're calling for a number of things. I'd like to take them um, one by one. One is Belgium is calling for the opening of other border crossings, not just Rafa. Yes, I think it's very clear. You have mentioned the humanitarian catastrophe. There is no water, no supplies, no uh, medicines, no food. So it's uh, very, very critical that as much humanitarian aid as possible can enter into Gaza. And um, I've been informed that on a usual day before October 7th, there were 500 trucks necessary um, to supply what uh, Gazans need. And um, now we have like we have seen like 600 trucks coming in by Rafa since October 7th. So the catastrophe and, and the suffering is, is uh, disproportionate and is inhuman. So there are three border crossings into Gaza from Rafa, the one that opens up once in a while from Egypt. But there mm. are two more from Israel um, at Eres and Kerem Shalom. And we'd like to call also the Israeli government to open up these border crossings for extra humanitarian aid because people are suffering inside the Gaza Strip. It's, uh, it's Israeli hostages who are suffering, but it's also um, ordinary Palestinian citizens, a lot of children that so, are suffering a lot. And I think it's important that more humanitarian aid gets into the Gaza Strip. And there are many, many people, whether it's people, countries or aid agencies that would agree with that position. But Israel isn't exactly listening, is it? So, you know, it's one thing to call for more humanitarian aid, call for more border crossings to be open. What do you do? if then Israel just says no, which essentially it has been saying. Yeah, I think the international community has to mount the pressure. That's uh, that's very clear. Also, the Americans, the European Union, other Arab states, uh, the Arab League, we have to mount a pressure because it's, what would it's that look essential... Like? Well, that will be uh, that will be a dialogue at first sight, but also the Belgian government, for instance, is uh, considering the recognition of the state of Palestine because I think we can only solve and end this violence um, through negotiations. Um, Palestinians and Israelis alike have the right to live in peace, to live in security, and that means that we also, uh, next to the state of Israel that has been recognized, we have to recognize uh, the existence of the state of Palestine, and that's the only um, tenable solution in the long term for peace and security for both peoples. So Minister, that's one Minister, measure I'm going, to have, to, I'm going to have to run, but you said something very important. You are considering recognizing the state of Palestine as a way to put pressure on Israel. What is the threshold that would bring Belgium to cross that Rubicon and recognize, um, recognize the state of Palestine? Sorry if I misspoke earlier. Recognize the state of Palestine. Well, I think it's important that we give an, a signal with a lot of European member states, um, like bigger member states like Spain, are considering the same. And um, what we will also do, and I think that's important uh, to tackle impunity, we will fund an additional 5 million euros to the International Criminal Court because there has to be independent, um, there has to be independent um, research on what is happening in Gaza right now. There are atrocities uh, being um, being uh, run by, Ga by, ha by Hamas in Gaza and by the Israeli uh, defense forces. So it's important that the international prosecutor of the ICC gets his job done. Uh, Minister Caroline Genez, thank you very much for joining us on the program here on Al Jazeera today.